Before the Bugatti Veyron, there was this, the 241 mile an hour McLaren F1. Despite its similar top speed, the McLaren F1 is the very opposite of the Veyron. No turbochargers, no four-wheel drive, no traction control, no ABS, and no flappy paddle electronically controlled gearbox. In spirit, the McLaren is closer to a Caterham than a Bugatti, a Caterham with a gold-plated engine compartment. It was built without compromise, and nothing was to get in the way of the driving experience. That's why the driver sits in the middle, so they feel completely in control. McLaren was so determined to use this layout, they even had the law changed to make it possible. Then there's the 627 brake horsepower, 6.1 litre V12 engine, built specially for this car by a crack team of BMW motorsport engineers, and the bespoke gearbox and a body made of carbon fibre. We take that for granted in supercars now, but back in the early 90s, it was so extraordinary they might as well have made it from lumps of Jupiter. Personally, I've never cared that much for the F1. It was too twitchy. But without it, Bugatti wouldn't have had something to aim for, and we wouldn't have had the incredible Veyron. In that respect, we owe McLaren our thanks.